What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916. And it's going down. The car review of the 1997 Mercedes Benz S500 Coupe. Now, I'm a big Mercedes fan, and I've owned quite a few various Mercedes over the years. And one that got away was a 1995 S500 Coupe I had roughly 10 years ago. It was a great car. It was the second Mercedes I owned. Um, loved the way the car was built. Old school engineering. Um, it rolled like a tank. Very solid, well-built car. And, you know, I figured at some point I was going to own another one. So, I had been kind of looking around for another classic Mercedes and these particular Mercedes I've always liked because of just it's the doors are solid it's got this very just craftsmanship style to it the way the doors shut they you shut them and they they lock like a vault um, dual pane windows um, just ergonomically very roomy inside it reminds me of a like a, a, a German Cadillac you know just very solid car so I found this one after having looked for a while for about a month a couple months actually and um, picked it up in San Diego and this particular uh, S500 is a Lorenzo package so it has Lorenzo wheels uh, the Lorenzo spoiler and um, was well maintained. I believe it's five owners. And the gentleman I bought the car from had records from all five owners, which you know says a lot. The back seats look like nobody's ever even sat in them. Um, the front seats, the leather was was still very good. wasn't cracked with no rips. The dash wasn't cracked. Um, everything's there. I mean. It has the original uh, cell phone in it, you know, back then you balling, doing your thing, you know, making your deals, talking to your lawyer, and you got the cell phone in the center console, and then um, also the the buttons in the in the dash to, you know, make your calls, and you could only imagine, um, you know, what this car was like back in 1997. This was the pinnacle of luxury back then, and... You know these cars they had a lot of R&D in them now they said they spent you know close to a billion dollars in R&D when they you know came out with these um, S series Mercedes you know they had the S Alpha the 600 which had the V12 and they had the sedan version with the same body style but this car you know it was a car at its time that was Right there with all the other top luxury cars you had, you know, the Jags, the, uh, you know, the, the Bentleys, the uh, Rolls Royces, you know, this car could hold its own. And it was made for grand touring. It was a car that you could drive, you know, across country and not feel beat up. Um, very smooth, luxurious ride had a lot of you know seat adjustments in it. I mean this car is everything from the lumbar to you know the back support to you know the up and down of the car. So a lot of adjustments. Um, it didn't have cooling seats this particular model. I don't even know if they came with cooling seats but it did have heating seats. Um, steering wheel adjustment you know have the button in there you can uh, adjust the steering, you know, steering wheel, so up and down, um, in and out, which is cool, you know, for the different um, sizes of the individuals driving the car. Um, it has an adjustment for standard or wet conditions, depending on what the weather conditions were. It has a control on the center console that you can adjust so the car will start in second gear, give it a little bit more traction if the weather, you know, um, requires. Um, all the major 
controls are centrally located, very simple. Um, this car, I changed and went with an aftermarket stereo. Originally had, it had a tape deck, six deck CD plank changer in the trunk. I swapped that out, added an updated stereo um, with Bluetooth, with a, I think I got a 12 inch sub back there with an amp. You know, give it a nice little sound, nothing crazy. You know, this is my, my daily cruiser. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with the car. It's, it's the kind of car even today when you see it, it kind of makes a statement. Um, when you talk about old uh, school engineering and, and just build quality, um, there's not a lot of cars that can match the Mercedes build quality. You know, I've had the E55, I've had E63, um, CL500, um, CL600, CL63. So I've owned a lot of Mercedes um, and driven, and, you know, quite a few different models and the Mercedes, there's just something about them, just the way they drive, the way they handle, um, just their overall performance. You know, I just, I just like those cars. You know, I'm a big muscle car guy, but when it comes to like luxury and driving, um, Mercedes has always just really stood out to me. You know, having also drove BMWs and um, Lexus, um, uh, Jaguars, you know, I had a Bentley. It's, it's just, uh, it's right up there at the top. You know, when you think of Mercedes, you know, in luxury, it just says something, especially the cars of this era. I think this was the last era where they built the cars to where these cars are made to run forever. You know, the parts are very solid and, um, it's, it's just unique. Some of the things they added, like in the trunk, you go to open a trunk and it, it has a little lever that pops out and you lift the trunk up and then you shut it and the trunk seals, you know, just little things that they took into consideration for the luxury buyer of the time. And this car, when it came out, you know, um, depending on the options, you know, you're, you're closing in on, you know, six figures, you know, this car wasn't a cheap car. And right now it's a, it's a crazy value for what you get bang for the buck. There's not a lot of comparable cars, especially we look at all the luxury items. I mean, this car also has sunroof, um, you know, AC blows out cold, uh, adjustable headrest, um, just a bunch of different things that, when you talk about having options, you know, they, Mercedes offered so many different options for this car, depending on how you ordered it from the dealer. So when you start the car, which is kind of cool, it has a old school key, put the key in here, you turn it, the seatbelt comes out. So you don't have to reach behind yourself. It actually extends out and um, retract back into the back of the, the car, the um, rear of the car. So I thought that's kind of cool. You know, some of these things that um, they thought about back in the late 90s were pretty interesting. Um, another cool thing is these parking sensors. So it didn't have a backward camera, but it did have sensors so that you can detect how far you were when you pulled in and pulled out. Now, I'm actually pointing the camera down in between the seats and they were smart enough to put this cloth here so that things don't fall between your seats. I know you hate it when you drop something between your seats, uh, coins, food. Well, you don't have to worry about that because this has a catch here so you'll never have anything in between the seats and the actual uh, center console of the car. So like I pointed out about the sunroof, you know, this thing opens up and 
Oh yeah, you got the open sunroof, which is cool. And I haven't used that before, so that's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, you can bring the elements right into the car or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for a quick drive with you guys so you can experience the smoothness of this S500 V8 Mercedes. One thing I do notice differently than the, the later model Mercedes that I've owned is that this one, the suspension, is a lot softer. Um, I imagine it has probably billistine shocks on it. So it's a, it's a more of a, uh, I would say a cushy ride. Which, you know, this isn't meant to be a canyon carver. This is um, a car you get in and cruise and enjoy the scenery. But bang for the buck, um, man, I, I can't complain. Driving this car from San Diego back to Arizona, it was floating down the highway doing... Um, good numbers I'm not gonna tell you the speed I was driving but um it was doing good numbers to say the least effortlessly this V8 in this car is um a very uh well-built V8 and it handles the road well the car the handling is very tight not tight like a sports car but what I mean is um it's not all, all over the place. It's a very smooth ride. Quiet inside here. It's like a vault. You know, the doors, the way they shut, the way this car seals itself up, it, um, it's very quiet. You can, you can hold a conversation in this car and not have to um, worry about the outside noise whatsoever. It's a big um, difference from driving my muscle car, my Chevelle, the green machine, that car is a whole nother animal. This is a, this is a cruiser, man. This is a get in, turn the key, and um, hey, take a trip to LA, Vegas, the Midwest, Texas, wherever you want to go. You just cruise very smooth ride like I said the Germans really engineered this Mercedes at the highest level of luxury for its time in 1997 and I believe when they stopped these particular models I'm not sure if it was 99 was last year I know 2000 they went to the, the newer body style they changed up so I, I want to say the S500 S600 the W140s, um, 90, 98, maybe 99 was the last year. But um, they're going to be collectibles. I mean, this coupe, you know, it's going to be right up there with the 560 SEC, I believe. And um, will eventually come up on the collector list because um, they're great cars. There are cars that um, you know do everything that they're supposed to do, and you know the way they were engineered, they were engineered to run. You know this car on the autobahn, um, the speedometer on this car goes up to 160, and I'm sure there wouldn't be any problems with this car cruising at 160 for a significant amount of time. It actually has a gauge on here that. Um, measure the miles per gallon which I'm not sure how accurate that is but you have your temperature you have your fuel you have your oil um, you have your clock and um, you have your RPM so um, yeah everything you need to be aware of is, is right here on the, the dash and this car is uh, it's definitely a keeper man when you compare some of the other cars of the era, this was a standout among the luxury vehicles 
of the late 90s and you know the type of person that drove this car you're talking you know doctor lawyer um, athlete um, banker somebody who had who had some paper and um, you know if they needed to handle business on the cell phone they had the cell phone in the center console or you know they could easily make their call from the dash and um, yeah man Mercedes was uh, ahead of their time so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review leave a comment share and um, I'll be doing more videos in this car and of course when I get my other cars back I'll do some more videos of those cars also and you know some comparisons and each car has its own personality each car is its own um, person and uh, you know it's cool to get in something different and to see how it reacts and responds on the road you know I, I enjoy I enjoy driving the different cars so Big Herc 916 Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.